Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeerGeekNation.com and today we are looking at kind of a new re release from Green Flash Brewing. This is the 2015 Silva Stout. It's an imperial stout aged in oak bourbon barrels for 18 months. A very long time. Coming at 10.1% alcohol by volume. You can pick this one up at CraftCity.com if you want to ship directly to you. Now, there's some stuff going on with this one. It hasn't been available for three years, two or three years. They previously brewed it, I think it was 2010, 2011 uh, for the first time. It was in 12 ounce bottles. Um, so the bottle says batch one, but technically it's not batch one. It's like batch two or three. Um, they are blending with this one. They blend 10 gallons of fresh uh, double stout into every barrel um, of the beer itself, so that's to get more yield out of it. So, with that said, I love this beer when it came out the first time. Looking forward to this one. Now in 750, it's going to range anywhere from about nine dollars up to nineteen dollars per bottle. So it has gone up a little bit in price, but for 18 months of barrel aged beer, it's it's pretty you know on the mark as far as price point. So let me get into glasses. You guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on the 2015 Green Flash Silver Stout. I right, got to the aroma of the Silver Stout. Wow, big, big caramel notes. Um, it smells like one of those caramel cream candies. Lots of vanilla, tons of caramel, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of oakiness in there. Some subtle kind of uh, deep, dark chocolate notes, but a ton of caramel and vanilla streaming off this one. I right, got to the taste on the 2015 Silver Stout. Cheers. Yeah, it's nice. 10.1%, um, the first thing that comes to mind immediately, it does seem a little bit thin uh, for that big of a beer, especially a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Maybe a little bit on the watery side, but right at the front of the tongue, more of that vanilla coming through. Tons of vanilla, tons of caramel, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of a light kind of milk chocolate flavor in there as well. Middle of the mouth, again, a kind of a thin body to it, a little bit disappointed about that, but I'm getting lots of vanilla, toasted oak, uh, subtle roastiness, not a big roasty beer at all. A little bit of chocolate, some dark chocolate in there, a little bit of a, a, a kind of a coffee bitterness. In the aftertaste, um, a little bit of a residual sweetness, some vanilla, more caramel, more caramel, more toffee, more vanilla. This is an absolute vanilla bomb. A little bit of oakiness in the finish in there as well. Very, very nice uh, bourbon barrel imperial stout. Again, maybe just a little bit too watery. I right, guess so the final verdict on the Green Flash 2015 Silver Style 10.1% available now. You can pick it up at craftcity.com. Guys, this one is going to get a B plus. Um, my big kind of complaint, for lack of a better word, is that it just feels a little bit thin for being such a big, you know, uh, example of an imperial stout, a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. I previously, about two or three days ago, I opened up one of the original batches, and I love that beer. Just big body, tons of barrel, tons of chocolate and coffee. It's aging really nice. This has that. It just seems a little bit subdued. I'm not getting as much barrel. Um, I am definitely getting a lot of vanilla, but it doesn't taste like barrel vanilla. That, and that's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I'm sure that's what it is. Um, it just stands out. The caramel and the vanilla really stand out with this one. They don't blend with the beer very well. They just kind of steal the show. And again, that might have something to do with the, the thinner body um, on this one. It's solid, don't get me wrong, but if you enjoyed the previous batches, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about this one. So getting a B plus for me. Remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.